So I'm going to show you how to make perfume using stuff that you can find around your house, like some cursed flowers, maybe your step uncle's alcohol, and the crock pot. And then I'll compare that to the perfumer supplies that you can buy online. sponsored by Squarespace. A good place to start with perfume is this website Frantica and find a perfume that you like and it'll show you all the notes and like the rating of what it mostly smells like. Then you go over to this website Perfumer's Apprentice and you can go search for those notes if it's not there. This is a flavor not a perfume. You can maybe go to the Perfumer's Supply House and find it there which I did and add that to cart and yeah that'll give you like a good starting point. So I bought all those notes and the website would say if they were a top, middle, or base note. And so I labeled them as such. Basically that just shows how long the scent will last with the base notes lasting the longest. Also how long it lasts has to do with the concentration. The more percentage of oil, the longer it lasts. So I got this little scale off Amazon for like 25 bucks and these little glass jars. So we're just gonna zero out the scale. Add in some perfumer alcohol at like 2.7. I went over, so I'm gonna suck a little bit out put a little bit back in till it's 2.7 and then add 0.3 of that oil concentration and this is lychee I spelled that wrong but it's okay so we're gonna fill that back up all the way to 3 which will make that a 10% concentration I put the rest back into that little bottle and then I just wanted to label it with a little top note sticker and it says lychee 10% shake her on up and then I did it to all the rest. I diluted them in alcohol. Perfect. I also got these little scent strip things. I labeled them so I remembered which is which. And then I just had to spray them. Oh, look how cute they look. Wow, it was so cute. Oh, I'm, I'm a dinosaur. Uh, I sprayed one. And then I just had to spray all of them so each one would smell. I, I've, why, I don't know why I'm explaining this. I feel like you're watching this happen in real life, real time. Anyway, so I sprayed it all. <laughs> Bro, you stink. <laughs> Man, I already had a headache. Instant headache. So then I just smell each one individually, kind of so I could understand each of the scent identity. If I took them all on Phantom, that's kind of how the Atrevraris. Oh my gosh, I'm going to butcher that name. But I have a sample of that LV scent, so I sprayed it and tried to compare the scent of the original. Oh, if you want to reset your nose, you can smell your skin. I, I need a shower. So I'd compare the original scent to like the single notes to see if I could sense any of them. And then I wanted to rearrange it according to the votes on that website of what people thought that original scent most smelled like. And then did a little rearranging myself. I also had different patchouli and different rose concentrations. So I wanted to test see which one smelled more like the original. And the dark patchouli was out and I kind of felt like it smelled like both the roses together. So we're just going to keep on going until I feel like I have the order right. So like any hobby that I pick up, I just kind of got hyper focused and I have way more sense than I thought I would that no in a week. But I found this one of Brox and Crystals that I really like. And even though it wasn't on the website, I felt like it kind of was in the scent. But also I think I just really like that smell. And so I thought I would add it to the list. So now, oh, I missed the, the bottle. So zero out that again. In a clear bottle, I just started adding each of those scents to the percentage that I felt they were in the original Louis Vuitton scent. Shook her on up, gave it a test spray. Sprayed the original on another one. And they, they, it needed some tweaking. So I put it back on the scale, added more of the Broxen and some other goodies. And that's kind of how the rest of this like went. I just added more, took out some stuff, diluted it more, et cetera, et cetera. If I wanted to recreate this scent later, I should have been writing it down. That's also why the scale's good. Also by this point, my nose was dead. So I asked my buddy Nico if he could smell a difference. And he said, yes, which is fine. I was trying to make it smell good. He said, the original one smelled more fresh, and then the other one smelled a little more musky or woody. Yeah. So, went back and played some more, ditched the scale, and just kind of went ham. And also just added scents that I like, 
which I, again is a broxen and then this ethyl maltol and then some rain trying to like mimic a scent that i like i think again was just a good place to start because with it i found a bunch of scents that i did like and i use all these plus a little bit of secret sauce my secret sauce which it's not as sketchy as it sounds look at that viscosity we're fine and i use that to make my own cute little signature scent cute one of the reasons why i wanted to make a custom perfume was in all of the merch that i send out i usually spray it with perfume and people would be like oh it smells so good what is it and now I can say it's it's my own scent. So that's fun. Just got to make a bigger batch now. So next I'll try to make some perfume with stuff that you can find around the house. But before I do... Okay, so before I get any further on that project, I love Squarespace. I talk about it all, all the time. I've been partnered with them for... This is the longest partnership I've ever had. And you know, I've, I've created a couple pretty fun ad reads. And you know, I put that time in because, you know, I think Squarespace deserves that attention and then there's also months like this month where I don't have quite as much time but the cool thing is Squarespace understands that they understand it so much oh, if you don't know what Squarespace is it's it's like one-stop shop for all things website they understand you're busy and they, they want to make it as easy as possible to help me get a website up and running but optimize it a couple things I love about them in that regard is they have thousands of templates and yet it's customizable and it's easy to customize it's just like drag and drop everything's gonna look good super quick and also be on brand to whatever you're, you're going for. They have a couple systems in place where you can aut automize things like, automize? Yeah, posting for blogs, for email campaigns, for, you know, store updates, make it more efficient for you to focus on whatever you need to do. This month, I, I, I travel a lot? I don't know, I think I needed like a slow month to kind of recharge, not get burnt out. So I can put more time into you know, the things I love, like making stuff. And thanks to Squarespace, that's possible. You can actually go and hit the, the link in the description, www.squarespace.com backslash mood to start making your free website today. And then when you do decide to purchase something, you can use coupon code SHMOOD, S-H-M-O-X-D, to get 10% off your first purchase. It's cool. So I want to try to make perfume using stuff you can find, like flowers and liquor. So first, I went and got some cursed flowers. I, I just joking. I really didn't. I didn't want to get cursed flowers. So my sweetheart friend Michaela, who like works at this like flower place, came with buckets full of roses. The sweet little angel. Then I just stocked up the studio fridge with some Everclear and got a cute little crock pot. So the idea is we'll take this crock pot. Fill it up with those roses, add in some distilled water, and I think you just need enough that it like will cover it. Yeah, sure. That should work. And then we're gonna put the lid on upside down so as it steams the, the drips will drip drop into the pot. Put it on low and let that sit for like five or six hours. It's starting to look good. And so I let it sit a little bit longer and yeah, once that's done, we're gonna throw it in the fridge. And the idea is that that's gonna like separate the oil and water and then the oil will also harden because it will it's it's gonna harden that's that's the idea all right so now that's that in the freezer and by freezer i mean fridge oh it didn't work it should be like little separations and the the wax should be like white i thought i'd mix up a little batch just in case and see if it worked and sprayed it and i mean it it like kind of smelled right but it, it it definitely wasn't oil it was water and how I realized that was I took some essential oil and like put it on there and you could see that it like separate from the very top so there's just no oil in there. I'll probably make a future video where I actually learn how to distill some essential oils and then I'll turn it into perfume but for now this will probably be a good substitute because I think you can also find this around your house pretty easy like an essential oil or like a fragrance oil. So it took some Everclear and the inside of my lips even right now they're like kind of like it's not that they're burnt, they're just like dried out. It feels like there's like a layer of dead skin on the inside of my lips. I don't, I'm, I don't really drink and so, I mean, oh, but also I've always like wanted to try that one thing that were like fire breathers would like do this and spit fire and I didn't know if it was actually real. I mean, it's real, but I didn't know if it was, yeah, I was, I was pleasantly surprised. I took a quick break to see if I had eyebrows, which I did, so we're good to go. Then you can just use like a spray bottle, maybe like an empty hairspray bottle or something, I don't know. And I just marked it so that I could get a good ratio. I think like 20% was like one fifth. 
So I did that, sprayed a little sample, and honestly, it smelled really good. It smelled really good. It smelled basically exactly like that oil, but when I was reading on it, uh, I saw that it said not for use on skin. So if you're gonna use oils or essential oils, make sure it's the stuff that's good for skin. Last thing I wanted to try or see was if perfumer alcohol versus just Everclear would like make a big difference. So I did two little vials and put in the same concentrate of that Abroxin, or maybe this is the Ethyl crystals. Either way, mixed them up, sprayed them, and I couldn't really tell the difference. Honestly, I felt like the Everclear almost smelt more richer, like more flavor. Not flavor. It didn't taste good. Well, I mean, it tastes like alcohol. Uh, so, I mean, if I wanted to, like, wear perfume that I could also get drunk on, kind of a fun idea, but also probably terrible idea. Don't ever do that because I don't know what's in the distilled oil. But, yeah. It smelled good. And I made perfume. So, that's fun. Alright, so be sure to like and subscribe, go ahead and hit that bell notification, and yeah.